This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer Into Reaction. Earlier today, the Red Band trailer for Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon, the director's cut, was released. And this continues to confuse me. I don't understand what a director's cut of Rebel Moon would serve. If you've seen the Rebel Moon movies on Netflix, they aren't very good. They have very good special effects, attractive people in the cast, but the story is, for the most part, shit. It is nothing you haven't seen before elsewhere, just done better. It's essentially Star Wars. And that's fine if you bring something distinct to the table. If you recall, Battle Beyond the Stars was essentially, well, it's more than Magnificent Seven, really, but in terms of its approach was very much Star Wars, but it felt distinct in its way. It didn't hurt that the ship had breasts for some weird reason. I never understood that. In any case, Battle Beyond the Stars was distinctive. Rebel Moon is not distinctive as an entity in and of itself. It is a story not well told and it is derivative. I don't know how you make this better. Well, actually, I do know how to make it better. First off, it has to be rewritten entirely. The whole story is just not very interesting. And maybe even you get someone else to direct it. Because, as I've always said, Zack Snyder has a great visual sense. He is not a very good director, though. And he is an even worse writer. And the Rebel Moon movies, I think, prove that unequivocally. He is not very good at what he does. Nonetheless, he keeps getting opportunities to be mediocre. Which is why I always say, it's unfortunately not what you know. You can be the best at whatever. It's who you know. It's the relationships you build. Not so much on what you bring to those relationships. In any case, let's look at the Red Band trailer for the director's cut of Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. Go dig my grave, both white and deep. Place a marble stone at my head and feet, and on my breast a snow white dove. I die on the side of honor. Is there still such a thing? Well, that was the Red Band trailer for Zack Snyder's director's cut of Rebel Moon. And this is why he irritates me so much as a director. There was copious amounts of violence in that trailer, as it should be for Red Band. But how does that advance the story? How does that make it better? There was more sex. 
But once again, how does that make it better? Now I intend to watch this just to see it in context, but I just don't get this. It genuinely bugs me and I found that trailer disturbing. Not because of violence. I, I love horror. Violence does not tend to phase me. Though what bothers me is violence without purpose. Violence for the sake of being violent. Pointless violence is not enjoyable. Pointless violence is somewhat sadistic. And that's what I'm seeing here. There's almost a cynicism behind this, as far as I can tell. I didn't particularly enjoy watching this trailer. I found much of the violence unneeded and unnecessary, though what's worse by my reckoning is that it feels childish. It feels like someone trying to be cool when they're really not. And that, in a nutshell, is Zack Snyder. He wants to be the latest thing. He wants to be trendy, but he really isn't. At the end of the day, he's kind of boorish. And this trailer reflects that. So what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer Into Reaction. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.